in emotional intelligence behavior according to psychology modification of behavior is learning but you see some of highly educated people how they are behaving and i was a med student 2004 and 5 i selected a topic for my dissertation attitude of scholars towards corruption my professor b ramachandra reddy sir guide for both med dissertation and phd sir told highly educated people only doing more corruption when compared with uh, illiterate or uneducated because they know that the easiest ways how to do corruption so here physical or somatic so physical exercises or physical activities are very very important that is when in education activity oriented education and here signaling being responsive and reacting to the environment here responding is very very important than react reaction without intelligence responding with intelligence here brain based learning there are 12 principles are there here involves using approaches to schooling that rely on recent brain research to support and develop improved teaching strategies here the researchers just believe that the brain is consistently searching for meaning and seeking patterns and connections today i watched one video mukundananda is a spiritual leader he told about bhakti yoga karma yoga gnana yoga buddhi yoga so intellect yoga of intellect buddhi yoga is very very important so these are the 12 principles based on a brain based learning brain is a parallel processor just like your computer processor whole body learning see here a search for meaning a patterning emotions are critical here i want to share about verbal and non verbal communication and emotions former prime minister manmohan singh sir very poor in expressing his because of introvert there are extrovert and introvert maybe combination of both also he, and the prana, present prime minister narendra modi ji is extraordinary non verbal communication and he can express his emotions freely and 360 degree also processing here part and holes guest out theory part to hole hole to part maybe here it is a heterogeneous group teachers are our students and scholars from other than education also and other than psychology i i got information from dr sarita ma'am some are from management even education and uh, engineering also how you are going that is why ict information and communication technology according to research in communication is the first competency and essential competency for learn so it is our duty communication is equal to verbal plus non verbal some of researcher teachers they are not in a position to show their video so we are missing non verbal communication what according to the researchers the text can communicate only 7% of the meaning and 93% even management students and teachers are here what is the body language whenever in marketing hr human resource so they know very well about the importance of communication teaching and learning even research also we need a best or reflective communication here focused attention and a peripheral perception attention is very very focus also conscious and unconscious process whenever you are so i watched so whenever sadguru and some others uh, videos when it is your duty to make is uh, unconscious so if you are doing something when you are doing again and again mandal we call 40 days and more than 40 days if you are doing any activity regularly it will reach to your unconscious stage even though you are unconscious you can do a reflective excellent so just a driver you can see always they are moving in the same route even though they are unconscious they can without making any accident they can reach their destination several types of memory here i told already long term memory short term memory logical memory parallel memory 360 degree of the embedded learning sticks challenge and threat always better make yourself to face ready to face challenge but according to our indian parenting parents are never allow us to take risk that is why we are always dependent on our parents mother and father it is better but if you see the others around the globe they have the challenge attitude every brain is unique 
myself and my brother we are twins almost 99% we think same our emotions are also same but 1% because of my higher education qualification and away from home so brain is unique please don't never compare your children or students with others because everyone is unique after knowing but at the same time it is a contradiction to use the same type of assessment tool for all students but our education system is not in a position to allow to use diversified assessment tools we have uh, formative assessment summative assessment even evaluation also formative evaluation summative evaluation every unit test quarter half yearly annually free test all this as a part of assessment it is your duty to assess yourself at every moment here neuroplasticity is one of the quality of the brain you can learn anything how the brain will function so i'm going to sh share this video just 2 minutes only excellent video Sorry to inform you, sir. Sir? Sorry to inform you, we are now we are unable to get the audio. Wait, sir. Actually, I shared. I will share once again. Just one minute. Maybe I will uh, stop sharing again. I will share if anything is uh, wrong. Okay. Otherwise, you give your uh, comments behind the video. No, ma'am. It is better. I will select all. Screen one. Now, is it audible, ma'am? Just one, one minute. Is it audible now? No, sir. It is not audible. Only it video. Not. Also, we can see video only. It's not audible. Okay. What is the problem? I just worried. Connect audio. Connect audio. Or otherwise, connect audio to the speakers. Automatically, actually, no, I mean, Zoom and other things, there is option is there. I can select all. Here, I selected the whole window. Probably itself. you might have muted that one. Please check that one. Yes, 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 you are right. Now is it is it a now audio is a, audible, ma'am? Not so long ago, many scientists believe that the brain did not change after childhood. Now audio it's audible. It's audible. Fixed okay, by thank the time you. we became adults. Not so long ago, many scientists believed that the brain did not change after childhood, that it was hardwired and fixed by the time we became adults. But recent advances in only the last decade now tell us that this is simply not true. The brain can and does change throughout our lives. It's adaptable, like plastic. Hence, neuroscientists call this neuroplasticity. How does neuroplasticity work? If you think of your brain as a dynamic, connected power grid, there are billions of pathways or roads lighting up every time you think, feel, or do something. Some of these roads are well-traveled. These are our habits, our established ways of thinking, feeling, and doing. Every time we think in a certain way, practice a particular task, or feel a specific emotion, we strengthen this road. It becomes easier for our brains to travel this pathway. Say we think about something differently, learn a new task, or choose a different emotion. We start carving out a new road. If we keep traveling that road, our brains begin to use this pathway more, and this new way of thinking, feeling, or doing becomes second nature. The old pathway gets used less and less and weakens. 
This process of rewiring your brain by forming new connections and weakening old ones is neuroplasticity in action. The good news is that we all have the ability to learn and change by rewiring our brains. If you have ever changed a bad habit or thought about something differently, you have carved a new pathway in your brain and experienced neuroplasticity firsthand. With repeated and directed attention towards your desired change, you can rewire your brain. Right. So educational neuroscience here, you can see behaviorism, cognitivism, and the constructivism. Here, I'm not giving anything, you are not taking anything. We are constructing our own knowledge, himself or herself, based on your previous knowledge and past experience. Because I cannot change your brain structure, so your mind is stimuli. So it is your due to an individual that is alertness is very, very important. Here you can see neurological, so neurological activity occurring within different components of information processing system. How is the first ones? Sensing, words, pictures here, environmental stimuli. Senses, we are using all five sense organs. Then the second step is selecting. That is why I sell, I formulated one, invented one 7S model of learning and teaching through online along with the Srutasvini Gogoi ma'am again. Search, select, study, skillful, store, share, and smart. Here, after searching your duty to select, where to select? Academic institutions, research institutions, experts in the field, and some others. So you can, can't select whatever is available in the internet. That is why ICT integrated here. It is your duty to select a right one is a reliability. So selecting words, selecting images. Because of single the words selected by the CEOs of some companies, they lost crores of rupees within one day because of wrong selection of their words while delivering their lecture. Just Bitcoin, based on Bitcoin comment, uh, the, they lost more than 60,000 crores per day. So working memory, this is sounds, images, verbal mode, pictorial mode. So image is very, very important. The last one is a long-term memory. Here, the prior knowledge, memories are very, very important. Storage in long-term memory. Our duty, we are here for under NEP, National Education Policy. The main stress is how to learn, instead of how to learn, how, learning, how to learn is very important. It's simply learning is not important. How to learn is important. So this is about sensing. So you have already, I mentioned about the functions of brain, the sensing, and this is a learning from an educational neuroscience perspective, how the electrical signal is connected from one. So neurons based on the link, how you are linking your present knowledge with the previous knowledge information that is very, very important. Actually, majority of the students are failing. Teachers are failing here to link the present existing knowledge information, whatever you are going to study or studying with your existing knowledge or information. If this link is weak, that's a short-term memory. The link is a strong, maybe long-term memory. So this one is very, very important. Neuropedagogy, it is our duty to move from this here. Right now, we are doing like this school psychology, psychology and pedagogy, and here psychology and neuroscience, even psychology and neuroscience, educational neuroscience, even myself, I had educational neuroscience, but after doing reading articles, I found neuropedagogy is very, very important. Learning, function, and emotion. Here, emotion is missing, but emotion is also very important. So this one is educators as a brain changers. Why there is a need of to integrate brain or educational neuroscience in our education as a teacher or teacher educators it is our duty to change there are nine things educators need to know about the brain the brain is a social organ in general we are always some of parents are not allowing their kids children to mingle or interact with others but it's a social organ well social learning you can we have two brain left brain and right brain you know about two brain Early learning here is powerful. So those actually the brain growth of brain is also I'm going to show you. It taken below 16 years. Your learning takes place more after that only very less. So school education, that is why 
our duty to select a right school and right teacher. Conscious awareness and unconscious processing occur at different speeds often simultaneously. Why I selected ICT, an individual can go with on his or her own pace of learning. The mind, brain and body are interwoven. So that is why uh, it is our duty to integrate our body-mind relationship through yoga and meditation. So here, body, physical health is also very important. We are telling about mental health only, but brain is also because oxygen they need. The brain has a short attention span and needs here repetition. You know about retention. Is it possible to re forget about your friends' names or family members' names or lover name? Impossible because you are repeating. Retention level is more again and again. Especially the lovers I'm taking always example in my class, X and Y. It is impossible. Maybe there is nothing, but they can talk hours and hours because of love and affection, care, concern. They repeat it and multiple channel processing for deeper learning to occur. Fear and stress impair learning, but little bit stress is okay. Little bit fear is okay, but stress level is more. It is not good. We analyze others, but not ourselves. The primacy here, primacy of projection is very, very important. Always we are ready to find a fault of others but it is introspection you can use your learning is enhanced by emphasizing the big picture i'm going to show you if time permits uh, uh, some periodic table of education technology a to z tools are available in the single page and then allowing students to discover the details for themselves the educational neuroscience the educational neuroscience are neuroeducation already i defined what is a, a neuroeducation so the component of mind, brain, and education. Right now, we are giving importance to mind, philosophical foundation of education, sociological foundation of education, technological foundation of education, but brain-based education is very, very important. And here you can see education technology is also a part of educational neuros. What developed the brain here? Experiences build brain architecture. Here patterns here, Repetitive experiences create circuits in various brain regions, which becomes our habits. See how you are becoming habit. So you can go through one by one. Three types of stress. Positive is very good. Brief increase in heart rate here. Mild elevations in stress hormones levels. But tolerable, it's okay. But toxic, this is a prolonged activities of stress response system in the absence of protect. A relationship is very important. And compared with here, just this way, you can watch this video is very, very important. Everyone is under stress. How the stress is uh, uh, playing a major role in your activities, both act, learning, teaching, everything. Are you sleeping restlessly, feeling irritable or moody, forgetting little things and feeling overwhelmed and isolated? Don't worry, we've all been there. You're probably just stressed out. Stress isn't always a bad thing. It can be handy for a burst of extra energy and focus, like when you're playing a competitive sport or have to speak in public. But when it's continuous, the kind most of us face day in and day out, it actually begins to change your brain. Chronic stress, like being overworked or having arguments at home, can affect brain size and structure and how it functions, right down to the level of your genes. Stress begins with something called the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, a series of interactions between endocrine glands in the brain and on the kidney, which controls your body's reaction to stress. When your brain detects a stressful situation, your HPA axis is instantly activated and releases a hormone called cortisol which primes your body for instant action. But high levels of cortisol over long periods of time wreak havoc on your brain. For example, chronic stress increases the activity level and number of neural connections in the amygdala, your brain's filter center. And as levels of cortisol rise, electric signals in your hippocampus, the part of the brain associated with learning, memories, and stress control, deteriorate. The hippocampus also inhibits the activity of the HPA axis, so when it weakens, so does your ability to control your stress. That's not all, though. 
Cortisol can literally cause your brain to shrink in size. Too much of it results in the loss of synaptic connections between neurons and the shrinking of your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that regulates behaviors like concentration, decision-making, judgment, and social interaction. It also leads to fewer new brain cells being made in the hippocampus. This means chronic stress might make it harder for you to learn and remember things, and also set the stage for more serious mental problems like depression and eventually Alzheimer's disease. The effects of stress filter right down to your brain's DNA. An experiment showed that the amount of nurturing a mother rat provides its newborn baby. So I will provide you this uh, PPT you can watch later. I have many things to share. I will finish within few minutes. So according to here, Kojalino already I, this one I got through MOOC courses. I'm going to share the four MOOC courses on education neuroscience. I guess use of here, facial expressions, physical contact, appropriate level of challenge, encouragement, development of creative ways to approach difficult material and not taking student anger or frustration personally. It is better whenever you are, maybe some students are maybe interact or responding negatively, it is not good to take as a personally. So this one is a role of a dopamine in the educational environment. When dopamine is released in the brain, it promotes feelings of pleasure or deep satisfaction. That is why whenever someone is taking alcohol or something, because of this reason, they are again, they habitualize to repeat the same thing again and again. So it is because of individual training. Why a student is whenever, maybe it is based on their previous knowledge and past experience. So it's very difficult to uh, stop the ha bad habits, but it is not impossible. It is possible, but we need a rigorous uh, mind. So here BDNF is very, very important. What is BDNF means? Brain here derived neurotropic factor is a protein which can be thought of as a brain fertilizer. Just for plants, we need other fertilizer. This one is a brain fertilizer. You can go through it. And brain growth, you can see here, newborn baby, how the brain growth within three months this is within three months old baby, 24 month, two years baby, and here six years old. How so pruning here rapid growth here. So what goes the brain here back to front and inside out cognition, affiliation, regulation and attachment. But according to uh, spiritual leaders, philosophers, detachment is very, very important. Even though you are attached, but detachment from research to class, this is very important. Understanding of the brain and learning continues to improve our curriculum and teaching strategies. So even though if you are using your old method, it is not good. So it might be unethical to continue to use the traditional lecture approach when you have growing robust evidence from many different studies that other methods are far more effective. So this is, I told, we need this technological pedagogical content knowledge. We need TPAC we are calling. So we need a TPAC. So according to the all researcher technology, that is why ICT integrated, I told technology competency is very, very important. This one is Bloom's taxonomy, you are aware, education people are aware. We are only doing these three things, remembering, understanding, applying, but above understand, applying, we have analyzing, evaluating, creating. This is very, very important. Make in India, made in India, honorable prime minister is a creating. So cone of learning experience. I see, I forget, I told, but see, 10% only we read. We are always informing to students, our kids, please read, read, read. But after two weeks, they can learn, won't re remember 10%. So this is very important, 90% of what, so here movies, 50%. Education movie, Tare Jamunpa, Rav Bok, so M. Kalam, and uh, Proud to be a CK, Punjabi movie. So movies are, educational movies are good. You can go through it. Here doing a dramatic presentation, Simulating the real experience, doing the real thing is 90% what we say and do. Edgar Dale cone of experience, but now we need ICT related is actual learning and passive learning. 90% of education here, uh, you can use the design or perform of experiment. So this one, 95% what we teach, why I'm always ready to deliver a lecture. If you are teaching to others, you can remember learning 95%. So this is our Bloom's taxonomy digital, srogguide.net. 
and i am going to share that one with ma'am lalita ma'am and uh, sarita ma'am you can go maybe they share with you and this is 7s model uh, i told already such select study skillful store and share specific excellent uh, here applicable reliable and creative helpful content supreme master approachable reachable and uh, transferable knowledge this one already i delivered a lecture on uh, and uh, majbat college uh, international webinar on educational neuroscience yeah, i provided video you can go through it this one is another additional information education neuroscience the brain behavior the video you can watch so i can this is about there are so many things uh, just i will share only one minute i will take only one minute to share one important thing whenever wherever i am going to deliver my lecture i am always sharing uh, uh, my blog this is my blog hamsaridi this is my blog today only i posted one post you can go through it i think uh, this one has not posted just one minute only one minute i will i will finish within one minute i told i am going to share with you some four mooc courses on educational neuroscience and nep simply by clicking this one already i have mentioned theories of learning universal design for everything is there if you click nep you will get to nep 2020 and this one is a, a ict integrated if you click you will get this lecture i delivered at a, so these are all the four courses orientation to education neuroscience and uh, neuroplasticity and neuro myths here neuro leadership and learning and memory these four courses are very very important you can go through it is a free of cost but only for learning purpose but uh, during when i did this time it is uh, some options are there i did and i got all the certificate also this is about you go through it all this my post just i am posting this uh, in the chat box so connecting notes just i am stopping sharing and i can post here this is about my blog you can get everything thank you for giving this opportunity ma'am i have many things but because of time i don't want to break down the time uh, so it is my duty sorry for uh, inter- whatever happened at um, sometimes it is also good the participants got uh, an op- opportunity to express their views so indirectly we two way communication we did thank you lalita ma'am sukita ma'am and sarita ma'am and the honorable registrar sir vice chancellor sir and uh, principal sir thank you one and all thank you amrish pandit sir i ask one question lalita madam sir sir okay sir you can go ahead one question please sir, please about neuroscience research second chapter nep about language acquisition uh, neuroscience according to neuroscience research you already mentioned in your presentation also sir that uh will uh, two to eight years are uh, more 85 percent of brain will be developed okay yeah. in this connection the world is uh, especially in india what people are especially parents are wanted to make their child learn in english medium and uh, neglecting the mother tongue true it's completely switched over to english medium schools so education is english medium i think uh, i don't think that uh, i learned uh, my entire education is in telugu medium uh, it's, uh, because of exposure with uh, many things i can able to transact and translate from english to telugu telugu to english also i learned all okay. even myself also you are right sir 100% up to class 10 i studied in telugu medium only intermediate onwards i took mpsc english medium pcr chitur and pvk in chitur degree and all other uh, 
ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೇವರಾಯ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅನಂತಪುರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೋಲ್ ನೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಕರಿತಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಲಲಿತಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸುನೀತಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅ ಗೈಡ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟಚ್ ಲವ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ even myself also whenever we are interacting with female teacher the way they show emotions emotion is missing so neuropedagogy emotions are very very important it is our duty to give more importance for female teachers at the primary school it is my observation yes sir i want to add one more uh, uh, please please from you nep categorically said that uh, mother tongue uh, is the medium of instruction up to 5th class and uh, mm-hmm. beyond uh, up yeah. to 8th class so it is a mother. is it a suggestion or mandatory or legalized so, so i give you the for this one i give you my feedback i attended one program at national institute of education planning and administration new delhi in 2016 policy making in education professor veera gupta ma'am in our upcoming workshops is uh, going to deliver keynote speech and a panel as a panelist here any document in india it is not 100% compulsory it suggests you a guide actually policy it means a guide it can show you a right path but there is no 100% guarantee to implement no guarantee at the same time because of democratic country you cannot force him or her to apply or implement and one more thing education is in a concrete list you cannot force any state to apply only mother tongue for medium of instruction main thing is the stakeholders parents are ready to send their children to english medium schools how you can control it is impossible as a teacher instead of avoiding you can use bilingual methods according to learning theories multilingual approach is excellent when compared with even single mother tongue also the same research learning theory says but mother tongue when compared with earlier right now is a multilingual even my, myself i can propose multilingual approach instead of monolingual yes sir andhra pradesh uh, has developed bilingual textbooks and uh, uh, what i observed as a teacher educator since long time attaching with the field uh this bilingual approach pedagogy is not uh, fully aware of by the teachers this, this has to be proposed while implementing that the, the as a national expert you can uh, give a suggestion or uh, uh, guidelines uh, to other schools and uh, entire, especially in northeast you are working there system is a prevailing oh, and on all these things so you might have aware of uh, this multilingualism also a pedagogy uh, uh, process and uh, resource and strategy strategy by any okay. you can uh, sir, please give your narayan sir actually i appreciate your uh, enthusiasm actually actually the states like andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka kerala it's okay and the northern states hindi medium but in northeastern states here more than 280 ethnic groups are there we cannot use mother tongue as a medium of instruction in northeastern states here is a, if you take manipur or nagaland or mizoram meghalaya more ethnic groups their mother tongue is different dialect is different that is why a common language nagaland government declared english is a raja bhasha for them is official language or even though naga is a link language so lingua franca you know about language many issues the government of india is also going to establish along with the cal central institute of indian languages one more institution is also going to 
establish so what it is good instead of taking decision by ourselves it is better to collect data from the students himself or herself i think time is a uh, is it okay some other time maybe ma'am will organize some more programs we will get sufficient time to interact if you have anything i am going to share my email address and a mobile number you can share whatever you want and this is my mobile number and this is my whatsapp number thank you thank you one and all because time management is very important so now the turn to the organizers thank you ma'am thank you narayan sir thank you dr amareshwar for your excellent and expressive lecture i am thinking you really spoke as a psychologist today because i am doing research in the field of psychology and cognitive as a cognitive psychology from the last 25 years i really emphasizing the importance of cognition on emotion and behavior because when i started my research people are asked why you are doing on memory why you are doing on cognition what is there huh? so something like that but now now it's era to emphasize on cognition so as we know yada tada yada mati tada gati so if you uh, if you keep your cognition clean in all the ways and means it really helps to uh, develop positive emotions and positive behaviors as well so i uh, i really appreciate how you connected the relationship between body and mind and how you introduced the new concepts uh, like neuroscience of learning neuroeducation so all these are there but no connectivity is there oh, we are all dealing with the things independently but they, now it's important for holistic uh, integration of the things that is very very important so now in health also earlier it was only the specialists are dealing with the issues but now the holistic approach entered into health now it's time to enter the same concept in the mental health also so you have to look into the issues not only from the uh, positive of behavior or positive of emotions or something like that you have to uh, the understand the things from the holistic approach that is very very important and i am very very happy to say that i am really proud of you ama how you connected so i really felt that if science student study education you can add something to the field so that is a really uh, i enjoyed your session and in your lecture also you touched upon uh, how skills competence and capabilities skill will be there competence will be there unless uh, you are motivated internally that is very very important so the capability turns out uh, maybe you are all uh, you are also one of the example for that because you are you are there yes. in shillong is because of your internal motivation huh? so in this way you are yes. looking at your own self and you touch upon neuro very important and you are pedagogy and you touch you focus not audible ma'am not audible yeah unmute cheskondi madam buddhi yoga ah you emphasized on buddhi yoga so all yoga is important buddhi yoga is important karma yoga is important so uh, we have to consider all the things to have a uh, meaningful life in our uh, uh, life so that is very very important now there are uh, one question raised by narsimha charil garu so i would like to i request amreshwar to answer this please, please. so many headmasters of nadu nadu selected schools were not able to complete the components given by government within the scheduled time is it the problem of learning new things at academic level as per the science of neuropedagogy or we can say that non teaching jobs which are not trained cannot be done by staff it may be a general uh, specific question raised by the you you give your opinion later i will add uh, so yeah whenever i am acting as a resource person many teachers i am always interacting interaction interaction so actually what is happening is the state governments they are utilizing the services of a teacher 
maximum more than 50 percent other than teaching and learning so here teachers are not in a position to complete another, another thing according to usa uk australia one is to 26 one is to 21 one is to 27 for each australia is less number for 21 teach students one teacher but in case of india single classroom schools and single teacher schools five classrooms five classes single teacher five class five classes in the single classroom this type of approaches there is a, no single country other than india this type of approaches sir so actually the budget allocation and the other things one more thing for to resolve this problem blunder learning approach it is not to depend on teachers only even the factors i have read the government factors parent and family factors individual factors and teacher factors so completion of syllabus is not only a duty of a teacher it is for parents also even government also autonomy suppose a teacher may be not in a position to take classes because of health issues and other duty it is their duty to utilize that is why vidya committees there are so many innovative methods are there but we need a flexible i it is proud to say about our northeastern hill university i don't have register to put my signature there is no register for since 2013 i am working with freedom they are giving more freedom i am working better than earlier so uh, lalita ma'am told about many things here I, I want to share one more thing along with this question earlier prevention is better than cure now cure is better than care according to apollo and other teachers because of covid 19 we are learning new things even how many teachers are aware of ICT before COVID-19 pandemic and the government of India, Diksha portal, digital initiatives, there are more than 40 digital initiatives are there, but very few, only 5 to 10 percent, they utilize by now 100 percent. So there are so many problems. We can't live without problem. It is our duty according to YS, Raz, YS Jagan Mohan Reddy. He told the first chief minister in India, it is our duty to be ready to live with Corona. So it is our duty. In the same way, problems are ever, forever. Our duty to understand how to resolve those problems. There are so many ways are there. I publish in my blog. If you go through 2018, April month, I published problems solving a resolution of problem through online. Grievance, there are public grievance portal is there. Interact with Prime Minister portal is there. Why President Secretariat is there. There are so many things and please go through my blog one more for only one minute now in uh, 2020 december i posted one post blunder learning approach in teacher education there i mentioned one book i shared 10 best teaching practices in education don't know all uh, best book 2004 it was published international book you can download it so many answers you can get through my blog please go through it please ma'am yes Dr. Amaneshwar, yeah, yeah, the, I, I would like to add something to that uh, question. Because in human nature, uh, we are uh, fixed to do certain things, okay? Suddenly, if you want to move to new things, it will be very difficult. That too, most of the headmasters will be reaching uh, uh, middle, late middle age. That is middle not because of their problem, ma'am. Sorry to yeah, interrupt, yeah. that is not their problem. Actually, mind you are telling it rightly, Human mind never allow you to do great things or innovative yes. things because of habitualization. So your duty, according to Bhagavad Gita, it just act like a child. It is not possible to control a child behavior. He can touch everything. He want to feel everything. He need everything. In the same way, mind always think through meditation, through yoga, through some exercises only, you can do all those things. So innovative. See. Ma'am, uh, Lalita ma'am and Sarita ma'am, they are uh, attending my programs. Department, we have always some politics. What I did, I approached the vice chancellor to give permission to organize workshop. Within 40 days, I organized eight na for national, for international workshop. Whole university, what they done one year, I did within 40 days. So you need only innovative thinking, you can resolve. The only thing, life will be there, problems will be there, only by adapting to new things, by
by accommodating to new things and by adjusting to new things only you will become a successful person that's what i learned from uh, our lives okay participants uh, first of all though there was a delay in starting the session as there, there may be delay in the releasing the movie the movie is a hit one so something like that <laughs> we will consider with the live uh, demonstration by dr amesh amareshwar we are going to end up the ses third day session tomorrow professor nagarazu from uttarakhand uh, professor of education will join with us uh, to enlighten us on conclusive learning environment on uh, with, uh, with in uh, reference to nep 2020 so we are going, going to wind up the session i thank on behalf of the organizing committee to dr amareshwar for his uh, 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 taking risk and uh, um, making it a very grand uh, successful session so on behalf of the organizing committee i thank university authorities and uh, it Uh, personnel and print and electronic media for their cooperation and most of and the foremost the thing is our participants uh, from the last three days they are maintaining very well disciplined and uh, though the organizers are very young i have seen many uh, distinguished professors are joined to listen our lectures uh, their presence itself will indicate the Uh, that this webinar is a very successful one i thank you and all for your uh, cooperation in uh, making this a very grand webinar thank you one and all jai hind amar thank you ma'am